Hi, I'm Ruta Sapetis, the author of Between Shades of Grey, and I'm so thrilled to be doing this interview for Sugarscape. Thank you very much. Okay, um, why did you choose a teen girl for your main character? A lot of the survivors that I interviewed during my research um, were teens when they were in Siberia, and I found their stories so compelling. Um, and in addition to that, because this is a little known piece of history, I wanted it to find its way to teachers and librarians. And third, I love young adult literature. So for those three reasons, that's why I uh, chose to make the, the main character a teen. And um, what was your most memorable moment during your research? Oh. Uh, my most memorable moment, uh, there are so many, but one uh, happened when I was interviewing a gentleman and he told me that his baby brother had died in a, a labor camp in uh, Arctic Siberia and they made a, a very tiny coffin, coffin for him and in the morning uh, someone had stolen the coffin and used it for firewood and I was shocked. I mean here he's lost his baby brother and then they stole the coffin and I said, well, you know, weren't you angry? And he said, Ruta, that wood could have saved someone's life that night. He said, no, I wasn't angry at all. And, you know, that ability that he had to look at that with compassion instead of anger uh, really affected me and was very memorable. I know you talked about you did the, ex the university experiment. Was that your most extreme moment during your research? Yes, being locked in the former Soviet prison was definitely the most ex ex <laughs> most extreme and the most ridiculous thing I did. And, and ridiculous because I really didn't need to go to those lengths. It's almost disrespectful of me to say that if I'm locked in a former Soviet prison that I could have a similar experience to what these prisoners did. Never, ever. I, I could never, and that would be disrespectful. Um, but yeah, it was, it was sort of extreme. There could be a whole reality show based around people <laughs> People who are locked in in former Soviet prisons and it would imagine. be pretty compelling. <laughs> and what advice would you give to teenagers that want to research their family histories? Oh wow, um, I would say start with your oldest relatives first. Um, they, love to, they love to talk, they love to tell you about themselves um, and don't ask them to tell you about themselves, ask them to tell you about one of their other relatives. It's much easier for them to say, oh let me tell you about Joe. This is what Joe did and then go to Joe and ask yeah. about the other relative because you'll get very different stories when they speak of themselves and their experience uh, than when you, speak, you know, ask someone else to describe a relative's experience. Okay, it's an interesting <laughs> way of approaching it. Yeah. Um, so Lena's outlet during the, what she had to go through was her art. What do you think your outlet would have been if you'd been in the same position? Oh, well, first of all, Lena's a, a superhero. And what I learned through my research is that I, I don't think I would have survived in Siberia, even though I, I wish that that weren't the case, but I don't think so. So um, my outlet, I, um, I've pursued music my, my whole life, so I think my outlet probably would have been something musical, maybe maybe singing. It wouldn't have been pretty, but it would have, <laughs> would have been my form of expression. Okay, thank you very much for that. Thank you so much for having me here. <laughs>